Line T and triangle ECA and triangle FDB are shown on the coordinate grid. Which statements are true? So below we have six statements and let's read through each one and see which ones are true for this coordinate grid and the given line and two triangles. So the first statement is that the slope of line segment AC is equal to the slope of line segment BC. So we have line segment AC is here and we have line segment BC is here. These two line segments are on the same line of T, so they will have the same slope. This statement one is true. Any line segment on a line will have that same slope as the line. They will all have the same slope because it's all the same movement of point to point. It's the same rise over run no matter which two points you're looking at, whether you're looking at A and C or B and C. Now let's look at the statement number two. Statement number two says the slope of line segment AC is equal to the slope of line segment BD. So here we have the slope, we have segment AC is here and segment BD is here. Well this statement is going to be true as well. It's the same argument as statement number one. The two line segments are both on line T, so they're both going to have the same slope. So the slopes will be equal. Now let's look at the third statement. We have the slope of line segment AC is equal to the slope of line T. Right away we've seen from the first two statements that line segment AC is on line T, so their slopes are going to be the same. The third statement reinforces our reasoning and our statements from one and two being true. So, so far, statements one, two, and three are all true because all of those line segments are on line T, so they will all have the same slope as line T. Now let's look at the statement for number four. We have the slope of line T is equal to the measure of EC over the measure of AE. So let's see where those two are. We have the measure of EC is going to be this run and AE is going to be this rise. Well, the slope of a line is not the run over the rise, it's the rise over the run. So statement four is our first statement that's going to be false. Looking at statement number five, that says that the slope of line T is equal to the measure of segment FB over the measure of segment FD. So now let's look, the measure of segment FB is the rise and FD is now the run from point to point on line T. So statement number five is true. We have the measure of FB over the measure of FD is the rise over run from a point B to a point D on line T. Finally, let's look at the last statement. We have statement six, where we're saying the slope of line T is equal to the measure of AE over the measure of FD. So let's find those two segments. We have AE is a, is a rise from A, that point, but then FD is a run, but it's not from point A to point D. This rise is from point A to E, this run is from F to D. This is not the rise and run from point A to D on the line, so this is not the correct slope of line T. S uh, statement six is false. The only statements that were true were statements one, two, three, and five, which makes our answer choice B.